Ahead of the sentencing for terrorist Yasin Malik, Pakistan unleashing terror in the valley. An encounter is currently underway in Baramulla. A policeman has also been martyred in the gunfight. Uh, Ishan, if you can give us more details on that. On one hand, we have a bunk call that has been given out. And on the other hand, there is violence that continues to be unleashed. Uh, well, yes, this was a police says that this was a chance encounter which actually took place in Kriri, which is en route to Baramula, and uh, three Pakistani militants who uh, could have infiltrated this year around because there are reports of some of them infiltrating this year towards North Kashmir because North Kashmir has a long uh, line of control with Pakistan, and we have seen that there are uh, you know reports of certain infiltrations taking place, and this might have been a newer group uh, which would have come there, but police says that they have been able to generate intelligence input. After that, there was a chance encounter in which one cop who was injured was shifted to the hospital where he has come to his injuries. But police will see it as a major success. Why? Because Pakistani militants are very lethal. Uh, they are well trained. They have a lot of weaponry with them. Uh, so neutralizing them well before they could have merged with other militants and try to create a ruckus or try to, you know, kill more people so that before that they have been able to neutralize them. So the police is seeing it as a success. Uh, but, you know, entire North Kashmir belt is somewhere where Infiltrations have taken place in the past as well. Uh, and security forces are right now uh, trying to figure out that, you know, if, if there have been any infiltration, because force, forces say there hasn't been a maximum number of, uh, you know, uh, infiltration that has taken place. But if there has taken place, since these militants are Pakistanis, so that is what okay. will allow security forces and they'll try to make sure so that uh, three you know, they terrorists have now them. been utilized. Uh, Ishan, so Yasin Malik all set to face justice for bleeding demo in Kashmir for the kind of terror that he has unleashed but believe it or not there's a lot of support coming in and not surprisingly from Pakistan the former Pakistan Prime Minister might have been ousted from power but has not stopped from disseminating his anti-India agenda recent example of which is Imran Khan believe it or not hailing Yasin Malik an India beta and condemning him being convicted for his sins and saying that he is a freedom fighter वक्त सबसे पहले यासीन मलिक का ऊपर बात करना चाहता हूं कि अदालत में उनको सजा सुनाई जाएगी यासीन मलिक किसी सूरत उनको दहशतगर्द नहीं कहा जा सकता क्योंकि वो इनकी बड़ी लंबी स्ट्रगल है कश्मीर आजाद अपनी आजादी की कश्मीर की आजादी की स्ट्रगल मैं बड़ी सख्त मुजम्मत करता हूं हिंदुस्तान हुकूमत की इनके अंदर कोई कोई इखलाकी जवाब नहीं है कि एक आदमी जो इतनी बड़ी इतनी देर से स्ट्रगल कर रहे हैं और उनको इतनी देर जेल में रखा है उसको इतनी देर टॉर्चर किया है उसको अब दहशतगर्दी में सजा सुनाई जाए मैं सारे पाकिस्तान की तरफ से इसकी सख्त मजम्मत करता हूं so pakistan fanning the fire in kashmir for, uh, responsible for several innocents being killed indian soldiers being killed uh, nilashish joining us live nilashish is it really a surprise imran khan coming out and boldly supporting yasin malik calling him a freedom fighter Well, absolutely not, Pratibha. Given the fact that Yasin Malik is a known separatist leader, uh, clearly uh, he bats for the side of Pakistan, and obviously it seems that Pakistan would uh, uh, support uh, Yasin from Imran. war against india so of course waging war against india in favor of pakistan clearly that is something that uh, uh, the court will take into account now when it pronounces its uh, order as far as sentencing is concerned but also let's not forget uh, as has been pointed out the maximum sentence is that of death penalty but a minimum sentence of life imprisonment is what is expected yasin malik is lodged inside the security uh, area of patiala house court at this point he's not yet been taken up produced but we are expecting that to happen anytime soon uh, the point that will be made uh, on part of yasin malik will be that of leniency uh, it seems that the move 
to plead guilty on part of Yasin Malik would only be to ensure that he doesn't get the maximum sentence and instead gets the minimum sentence of life imprisonment. So therefore, uh, that could be the sort of plea that is sought when the hearing comes up uh, before the special NIA judge. As of now, we still await uh, the production of Yasin Malik, who has in fact been lodged uh, inside the Patiala House uh, Court uh, detention area for, for over uh, about uh, two to three hours. And what uh, the expectation as far as fine is also concerned is what will be looked at by the judge because he has asked uh, the NIA court, in fact, uh, he has asked the NIA rather to uh, assess Absolutely. his finances. So they will be looking at imposing like, a fine uh, as Nilakish, well. Like you've been saying, time's up for Yasin Malik. Is it going to be death penalty or life imprisonment? Any moment now that order is expected. We're slipping into a quick break here. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.